Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn all about MERN stack. I am going to take you through the process of creating MERN application. This is the beginner friendly course. So don't worry, I will explain every line of code in detail. The agenda of this course is to make you familiar with MERN stack application. In this project, we are going to first understand what is MERN. Then we are going to just take a look at basic understanding of React framework. Then we understand why we need to use a node in MERN application. After that, I'm going to show you how to use a MongoDB for the first time. Then we're going to learn how Express Framework is useful to create backends for your application. Then we're going to see how to create RESTful APIs. Then we'll just take a look at how to use Redux for state management. And then we're going to understand how to use JWT or you can say JSON Web Token for authentication. You're going to learn many things in this course. I'm going to start really from the beginning and create a simple login with JWT authentication. We're going to see how to register the user in MongoDB database and log in with that register user using JWT authentication. Once the user logs in successfully, he can create their own to-do list. Here you can create a new to-do or delete it if required. This is going to be an amazing journey. So what you need to do is you just need to follow me to be a MERN stack developer. But before you take this course, make sure you have a basic understanding of JavaScript, HTML and CSS. So before taking your too much time, let's get started. So the first question comes in, what is MERN? Many web applications are made by using multiple technologies. The combination of these technologies is called stack. There are many popular stack available to create a project. For example, we have LAMP stack. This is a combination of Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP technology. And all these technologies are open source. Using these technologies, you create LAMP stack application. MERN stack is one of them. MERN stack is a combination of a MongoDB, Express, React and Node. All these technologies create MERN application. We look at all these languages one by one. But why we need MERN stack if there is different options available? The main reason for using MERN stack is JavaScript. All these languages use JavaScript. So you don't need to learn a new language and their syntax to create a new applications. And also because of even driven architecture of Node is super fast and resilient web server. Every lecture in this MERN series is short and straight because my job is to make you more comfortable with programming. So before taking your too much time, let's get started and see the required tool to create MERN application. So let's talk about the required tools you need to take this course. For starter, you need a code editor. There are so many editors out there in the market like Visual Studio Code, Atoms, Sublime Text and so on. In this course, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Code along with a few extensions that help us to write code faster and makes application easier to develop. I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor, so I suggest to use this editor in this course. If you want to use this editor, just head on to code.visualstudiocode.com and just click on this download button to download this Visual Studio Code Editor for your system. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to install it in my Windows system. Once you open the Visual Studio Code Editor, it will look something like this. Just head on to this extension and install an extension for this course. So I'm going to just install ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippet. I'm going to install this extension in this Visual Studio Code Editor. This extension allows me to rapidly create a component using just a simple snippet. You can notice here we have different options to create import statement. You just need to say IMP and press tab. Once you press tab, you're going to have this import statement code. So using this extension, we're going to make application more rapidly. So once you install this extension, install Node in your local system. Node is nothing but a runtime environment for executing JavaScript. We will look at how Node works in MERN application later in this course. But for now, just install Node in your local system. So just head on to nodejs.org and install Node in your local system. Node is nothing but a simple runtime environment for executing JavaScript outside of the browser. Don't worry, I will explain what is Node in this course. But if you want to get the depth knowledge about Node, I recently uploaded a dedicated course on Node. You can check out that course on the top right corner of the screen or from the link provided in the description. So once you install Node in your local system, open the Visual Studio Code Editor and click on this Explorer tab. Here you can notice we have two buttons here, Open Folder and Clone Repository. We are not going to clone any repository, instead I am going to create my own. So I'm going to click on this open folder and open an empty folder inside this Visual Studio Code Editor. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select an empty folder and open it. 
Once I open an empty folder, you can notice I have here mon series. I'm going to just open that in the Visual Studio Code editor and then I'm going to open a terminal inside it. So I'm going to just click on this terminal and click on this new terminal. The shortcut of opening this terminal is Control Shift TL. This is going to be a simple shortcut to open this new terminal. So I'm going to just simply press Control Shift and tilde operator. Once I press it, you can notice this will just open a new terminal inside Visual Studio Code Editor. Instead of using Windows Terminal, I'm using Z Shell. If you're using Windows Terminal, that's completely fine. All the commands I write here will execute in the Windows Terminal as well. Will execute in the Windows Terminal as well. So once I open the terminal, let me first check the node is properly installed or not. And to do that, you just have to execute a command called node hyphen hyphen version. So when you press enter and execute this command, you will have a node version as a response. I'm using 12.18.3. In future, there might be a different version you get. So once you understand the node is successfully installed in your local system, so let's take a look at what is React. React is an open source JavaScript library that is used for building user interfaces, especially for single page applications. The main purpose of React is to make fast and rescalable applications. In this course, we're gonna first take a look at the complete understanding of React and then we'll move forward. So next, we're going to understand what is React and why we need React to create MERN application. 